Good morning, YouTube. From Interstate 59 South, on my way to Vicksburg, Mississippi. This is Cruise Man on the 2018 Goldwing. Now, my last motor vlog, I promised to talk about a subject that a lot of people have been talking about lately, and that is dark siding. And I've got some friends that have gone to the dark side, and I guess this has been a topic of discussion for, gosh, as long as I've been riding a Goldwing. I've been hearing people talk about dark siding. And basically, in case you don't know what it is, uh, dark siding is when you put a car tire on the rear of your motorcycle. So you replace your motorcycle tire with a car tire. Now, you might wonder why would you ever want to do this? Well, those who have gone to the dark side say that the tires last a lot longer. You know, you could get 40 to 60,000 miles out of a car tire, whereas you might be lucky to get 15,000 miles out of a motorcycle tire. Plus, a motorcycle tire, a rear tire, could cost $200. You can buy a car tire to fit on your motorcycle rim for maybe $100. So you're saving money on the cost of the tire, and you're also saving money on the frequency that you have to replace the tire because the tires last longer. Now, those who have gone to the dark side, just sing its praises, say it's wonderful, and that's, you read a lot about that, you see a lot about that, and it does obviously affect the handling of the motorcycle, because you've got a a more square profile on a car tire than you do on a motorcycle tire. A motorcycle tire is rounded on the sidewalls. And the reason it's that way is because the motorcycle has to lean into the turns. So if you're on a flat, more square tire and you go to lean into a turn, that tire, you're kind of fighting the natural tendency of what that tire was designed to do. A car tire is never designed to put pressure on the sidewalls, at least not that much pressure. Also, a car tire is designed, uh, there is lateral force on a car tire when you go around a curve. You know, when a car goes around a turn, uh, especially at higher speeds, there is some lateral force uh, exerted against the sidewalls of those tires, but the tire expects three other tires to take some of that lateral force. So it's spread among four tires on the car. On a motorcycle, you just have that one tire and it's accepting all of the force. Now, a motorcycle weighs less. So there's that argument. So people on the other side that are anti-dark siding because when you hear all of these benefits, how it's going to save you money, uh, you know, if you're on straight line roads like I am right now on an interstate, you know, why not? It, it should ride just as good as a motorcycle tire. But the anti-dark siders claim there's a safety issue. That these tires were not designed for use on a motorcycle and therefore, uh, there could be safety problems. Now, I've got to admit, in all the years that we've been talking about dark siding, I've never really read of any catastrophes on a motorcycle that could directly be linked to running a car tire as a rear tire on a motorcycle. However, 
I met a gentleman at Wingding just a few days ago. I tried to videotape his story because a few of us were standing around talking about dark sighting. And I had one gentleman to my left who was very pro dark side. In fact, he used to be a motor cop. And he's going to go dark side. Well, there was another gentleman standing there saying that he used to be a dark sider until he had a situation. And the situation was he and his wife were riding the bike and they were on some twisty roads with steep grades and he said they came around a corner not going very fast maybe 15 miles an hour and they leaned into that turn and accelerated but you know they had all the weight going down on that bike because it's a grade going up and the bead broke loose on that tire and all the air went out instantly now fortunately he said he did not lose control of the bike but it scared the hell out of him. And that got me thinking about a topic that I'd never really thought about before, and that is the bead of a car tire is completely different than the bead on a motorcycle tire. And the groove in a motorcycle rim is designed for the bead of a motorcycle tire, not for the bead of a car tire. So, in my estimation, that one story that that guy told is probably enough to keep me from going to the dark side. Now, I, like I said, I have friends that are dark siders, and they love it, they swear by it, and I, you know, I think that's fine. I, I don't, I think everybody should have the right to do whatever they want to do. You know, if you want to go to the dark side, ride a car tire, do so. I've got some friends that are even double dark siders. Now, I'm not going to explain what a double dark sider is, but you can look it up on the internet and you'll find it out. Go to Chris Caliente's YouTube channel and you'll find out what a double dark sider is. But for me, if I ever had a bad incident, because of a failure on a rear tire I don't want it to be blamed on me I want to be able if I survive I want to be able to go after Dunlop or Bridgestone but if I have a failure of a rear tire and it's a car tire on a motorcycle I don't have a case Now, some people say that if you're running the car tire on your motorcycle, it will void your warranty. Or if you have an accident, your insurance won't cover it. And I don't, I don't know if I buy that. I, I really don't think. Now, you're probably not going to get a Honda dealer to install a car tire on your Goldwing. But when you take it in for service or if you take it in for a warranty issue, uh, maybe if you had a warranty claim on a rim, they might say something. But if it's unrelated to the tire, I don't think I don't think Honda cares what tire you have on there as far as warranty purposes. And as far as insurance goes, I mean I've made several insurance claims in my uh, lifetime, and I've never had an insurance claims adjuster investigate what kind of tire I was running, whether it was a car or a motorcycle. I uh, had $12,000 worth of damage to one motorcycle, and it, that never came up. So I, I don't know that insurance would be an issue unless the accident could be proven to be related to a failure of the car tire on the motorcycle like this man that I met at Wingdate. If 
the feed had broken loose on his tire and he had had a bad accident and it's possible that his motorcycle insurance might not have covered that but they would have had to have known that he was using the car tire they would have had to have investigated that and uh, you know most insurance companies don't be my guess so that's cruise man's two cents worth on dark siding it's not for me does that mean I'll never do it I'm never gonna say never you know if I was shown more evidence in fact if somebody came out with a rear rim for the Goldwing that was specifically designed for a car tire for that bead I might consider it but there's no way that motorcycle or that car tire on the back of a motorcycle is not going to adversely affect your handling it's going to give you a different ride now in some cases it might actually be an improvement so you know there's good there's bad how could the car tire be better than the motorcycle tire well it could be better for stopping in the rain you've got more tread on the ground than you would with a motorcycle tire your contact patch is going to be larger you have deeper tread so that deeper tread gives you more water shedding ability than you have with a motorcycle tire so there's that advantage it's just that riding the curves like I say if 90% of your riding is on a straight flat interstate like I'm on today car tires probably about as good as a motorcycle tire it's when you go into those leaning into those turns and putting that lateral force on that sidewall that's where it could get tricky now I know I'm gonna get comments down below from some of you guys that have been dark siders for years and never had a problem this is one of those issues that no matter what position you take you're gonna get attacked by one side or the other and I understand that I just want you to know right now if you're a dark sider I respect your right to do that I have no problem with it everybody's free to ride their ride the way they feel safe but this guy at Wingding made an interesting point or actually it was another gentleman that was standing in the group discussing this and he said if he went dark side and something happened because of that tire and his wife was injured as a result if they went down and he looked over and saw his wife laying there not moving on the road he couldn't live with himself he just he said that just tear him up and uh, you know that these are compelling arguments on both sides so you guys do what you feel comfortable doing but put your comments down below and if you like these motive vlogs and uh, this kind of commentary you know please click that little subscribe button down below and if you click on the little bell icon YouTube will notify you the next time I put out a video I heard a story on the news yesterday as I was listening to my XM radio that there's a group that's uh, boycotting in and out Burger in California. Can you believe that? I love in and out Burger. We have them all over Dallas now. And uh, it's my favorite fast food burger. I just love it. So I'm going to put a poll in the community page before I post this video. I want you guys to tell me what is your favorite fast food burger. It has to be a fast food burger not one of these gourmet burger places but I'll list about I don't know five or six different national fast food burger chains and I want you to go to that community tab 
and let me know which is your favorite, especially if you're on the road, on a road trip, and you see a sign up ahead, McDonald's or Crystal or Dairy Queen or whatever it is, and it just makes you want to pull off and have a burger. Tell me which one's your favorite. I just left a Crystal Burger. I don't even know what town I was in. All this talk about hamburgers. And I've never tried a Crystal Burger. So I thought I would try it. And uh, don't think I'll need to try it again. It was uh, kind of like a White Castle Burger. But... Um, Anyway, just not my style. Still, it's nothing compared to In-N-Out Burger, in my opinion. But I'm just about 30 minutes from Vicksburg from my hotel. And I think I've covered just about everything I'm going to cover for today. So we'll see you next time, tomorrow when I take my final drive back to Dallas. And we'll see you next time on Cruise Man's Garage.